Hey guys, Brian again. Today we're going to, we got a uh, Nova 395 here, and this is going to cover pretty much any of the Graco's. But uh, customer said using the machine, all of a sudden lost pressure. Uh, sometimes you get the same situation when somebody says um, they ran out of paint and now it won't prime up, or it's been sitting for a long period of time and now it won't prime up. So we're going to go over the reasons why. Uh, your Graco, and a lot of times your Titan, same situation, will not pick up any paint. Uh, before we get started, safety is always number one. Make sure you got your appropriate safety gear on. Uh, no shock hazards, no high pressure hazards. Make sure all pressure has been relieved. The equipment's not plugged in. Just be safe overall. Um, mentioned before, this is a working shop, so there's times I'll have to stop the videos take care of my customers but usually I try to do my videos as a straight run through so you get a, a true idea of what's happening how long it takes um, sometimes I do um, pause the video if I'm doing something very simple or monotonous that it does not need explaining removing bolts things of that nature and I'll, I'll pause it there but but anyway uh, like I said a customer brought this in said they were using the machine one day next day it wasn't doing anything. It was running and everything, but it's not picking any paint up. So, one of the first things you could do, which I'm not going to do that, uh, I'm not going to do this because I, I want to get into it so I can show you some things, but uh, usually if the machine will not prime up, if you hit it with a hammer on the gray codes, if you hit it right here or here with a hammer, like you're driving a nail while it's running, it'll usually do one of two things, either dislodge the ball, and this is this is a lower ball here, uh, it'll dislodge the ball that's stuck, or in, in the piston there's a ball as well, it'll dislodge that ball, that's a much smaller ball. But we're going to move kind of quick through this, I don't really like long drawn out videos, when I'm watching them, I want to get to the point. I'm going to move this hose out of the way, first thing we're going to do is take the uh, pick up hose off and on great hose, let me just have to wait a little bit and just hit it with a hammer here oh, actually it's undoing a little bit of everything so it's actually loosening the inlet housing which is not a big deal we'll go ahead and take that off and right off the bat I can already see a bunch of crud down inside of this one so we're going to look at that First, go ahead and remove this inlet off this hose. Though. Do the same thing, just hit that with the hammer, loosen it up, pull it off. Sometimes when you're using it, you'll see in here you picked up a bunch of crap and it's clogged this up. There's nothing there, so we're good there. We're going to Pull this out, and you can see the ball is stuck in the down position. It shouldn't even be in there. Okay, so that's definitely an issue to be looked at. We're going to set that down for a minute. In here, it's kind of cruddy, so we're going to flush that out as well. But that ball should not be sitting like that. It's stuck. It should fall freely down into that ball guide. So I'm going to push it through on the other side. Oh yeah, it's not coming out of there. Okay, this is definitely going to be hard for you to see, but right here, these <clears throat> areas here have been flared out so that the ball can't get inside. So probably going to have to replace this, the ball guide and the ball. Let me, uh, let me get this ball out of here. I've got a screwdriver. I'm putting it through the guide, and I'm going to hold on to the guide and just tap on it like that. That pushes it out. So there's your ball, and there's your guide. And that ball is not fitting in there. So you 
have a couple choices you have you would have to make at this point you can on these tabs right here you can file these down because they're flared out and then you file them until your ball when you lay it up here just drops into place but and that that would be if you can't get a hold of a ball guide I can get a hold of a ball guide so give me one second I'll go grab one okay <clears throat> so this is the old ball guide you see the ball just sitting up on top it's not what we want here's a new ball guide and when I take the new ball and set it on top it just drops down in place so you can see the difference in the two what's happening but if you can't get a new ball guide then you could take your old ball guide and file these tabs down on the inside so that the ball drops straight down and as long as the ball is not scratched or damaged you're fine you can use it but I'm not in that type of situation where I'm stuck doing that so I'm actually going to be replacing the ball guide for the customer so that may have been the issue, more than likely was, but before we get too much further, I'm going to go ahead and lean this back. And we'll show you on the inside here. And you see a bunch of crud in here. So we're going to clean all of this out. And you may have heard me mention in other videos about the upper ball. The upper ball is located in that hole. And if you get just right when you're over here, you can look in there and see if that ball has an obstruction in it. But what you can do, when the machine is in the down position, take um, let me get my pick and take something skinny like a flathead screwdriver stick it underneath into that hole real easy until you feel it touch bottom then push now I don't know if you can see that it, it kind of popped when I did that that ball was stuck now I can feel it moving up and down I feel it hit the needle and then when I push up it's moving now. If you can't feel that slight movement inside, then that means you got an obstruction in that ball. Now you could take and work this in and out, just kind of like tapping on that ball to jiggle it around, and it'll dislodge a lot of times. You can see the crud that's up in there. But sometimes it don't work. And again, when it's all together, if you hit this or the inlet valve while it's running a lot of times that ball will dislodge it, it gets stuck either a residue will cause it to stick or you'll have a piece of trash in there that will wedge between the ball and the seat all right so we're going to put this back together so your seat i didn't take the seat out there was no need to take the seat out that's that washer looking thing at the bottom leave that in there put the ball in now we're going to put the ball guide in and you want that to sit down flush inside you hear the clicking that's the ball moving up and up and down you want that now I take a little bit of oil I like to do this because it helps with the seal so it's not dry on the inside and I'll put a little oil in there we're gonna put the inlet back on and the proper way to put this on is put it on hand tight and then hit these tabs with a hammer. A wrench is not going to get this tight enough. You want to hit this with a hammer. <clears throat> Which, what I just did while it's running, if you do that, a lot of times it'll begin to prime up. So I'm going to take the pickup hose here. I'm going to dip it down in some water to fill the lower end of the pickup hose. That way there's water inside. It's not, again, dry. I'm going to put this up in here. something underneath so maybe you can see it better put 
this in. I'm going to tighten this up. And again, the proper way to completely tighten this, put it on hand tight. Pickup tube in the water, the prime hose, bring that around, stick that in the water. <clears throat> We've got a gun and hose on it. to the customer but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine on see if we start getting bubbles out of the water which would tell us that the prime valve is oh excuse me the uh, machine is actually priming so we're gonna open the prime valve turn the machine on turn the pressure up see nothing there so while it's running I'm gonna hit it with a hammer see if that will now sometimes the prime valve can be clogged too and that'll cause no bubbles but we're gonna see what we got here first all right uh, sorry about that uh, as I said it's a working shop so duty calls from time to time so we have to take it all down and put it all back up here all right, so uh, we were trying to reprime the machine after um, replacing the ball guide. All right, so we're running it. We got no bubbles coming out. So we turn it on, and while it's running, I'm going to hit the fluid section. And I'm getting a few little bubbles here and there. I'm going to hold on to it. There we go. Blow it, yep. And I'm going to turn the prime off. Now that took longer to stop than would be normal. But you saw the amount of trash inside of the system, and that's what's making this hesitate in building pressure. So as we open and close this prime valve under pressure, it'll help kick a lot of that garbage out, so that way uh, it's running free and we don't have any debris. See there, it's stopped much faster that time. Turn the pressure all the way up. And whenever you, whenever you do what I'm doing here, you open this prime valve while it's under pressure. Hold the, hold the prime too so it don't jump out of the bucket. And build, build pressure and stop. We're going to sit here and listen to it for a minute. Now the occasional stroke like that is normal. It's just maintaining the pressure. So there you have it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this video because I'm gonna remove the water out of my bucket and I want to show you the debris that was on the inside. All right. So you see all that white stuff at the bottom here. That was all inside of the machine built up all around the edge down there at the bottom. That's what was inside of the machine and that will definitely stop your machine from priming up. So uh, there's a variety of things that can cause a loss of pressure. There's a variety of things that can cause uh, the machine not to build pressure. I just showed you the ball guide was damaged. I also showed you how to check the pump to make sure there's no debris as well as uh, hitting the pump while it's running. If there's any debris will help dislodge it and kick it out of the way. Um, there's 
not a lot there to go over when it comes to that. It's just a variety of things that you got to know what to look for. If you got any questions, comments, drop them in the comments below. If you got a request, drop it in the comments. Uh, this is Brian. I appreciate your time.